Two words that go hand in hand, weddings and budgets. From fabulous wedding dresses to fantastic makeup, every bride wants to look perfect for her day. To what length will she go to get the perfect look? What's too much or too small? When do makeup prices become ridiculous? So many questions will be answered on this episode of Wedding on a Budget with renowned makeup artist. Hi everyone, my name is Anita Aditwe. I'm the creative director of Anita Brows Beauty. We also have a, another arm called Hair Essence by Anita Brows, which is a salon. Um, we've been doing this for 15 years. <laughs> My name is Chama Ikoku, aka Chama Good Hair, and I'm the CEO of Good Hair Limited, Bronson Copper Lifestyle, and the Goodway Foundation. Makeup for my wedding day is super important because I need to cover any form of blemishes. I need to look perfect, and I just feel like makeup makes you look a little bit more glamorous, you know? So, yeah. For me personally, I always go with the natural look for bridal makeup. So, I feel like most times bridal makeup are always too heavy or too much. So I like natural looks for better makeup. My own perspective, wedding is like your special day, your big day. So if you are going all out to look extra beautiful, I feel that anybody should be free to do that, yes. Makeup for wedding, before I talk about the actual makeup, I believe that makeup for wedding it's, it's, it's like a, um, it's a feeling, right? Um, if you sit down and tell me that you want to get your makeup done and it's your wedding day, the truth is uh, you are the bride, you probably will stand out. But if you tell me that you're a bride, there's more intentionality in what I do with the makeup service. And without even thinking about it, I put so much more into what I do for brides. I take a lot more time. Um, even with some of the products that I use, I'm more intentional about some of the products I use for longevity, for all of these things. And if you check out our packages, there are some perks that come with booking uh, makeup with us for your bridal, for your, for your wedding day. Hi, my name is Inyolua and I'm a tech recruiter. For bridal makeup, you have to make sure like, you set it in place. Extra like powder, extra setting spray and all that so that it doesn't, because you're going to be moving around and very active, so you don't want to sweat your makeup off and all that. So you have to you know, have extra, extra things in place to make sure your makeup doesn't melt off. Yeah. I would say it's based off preference. So for me, for my lady or my woman, I think based off what she wants, it's better off she comes off as I mean, I like people who are opinionated. So if she wants to have so much makeup on, then that's fine with me. And then if she doesn't, that's not fine with me. So what she wants is what I want. For makeup, I believe the major change that has happened is trend. And I also believe for makeup, the major, the major change that has happened over the years is that brides want a bit more. They need more convincing <laughs> to say, OK, I'm going to pay you for your for your work. I know it's such a controversial topic now in 2024, 2023, 2024, why you know, one would pay a lot more for bridal makeup and normal makeup. Um, I think that's, that's kind of what has changed. You know, back in the day, people say, oh, I just want makeup. Come and do my makeup at my wedding. Come and do it. But now people are like, OK, I'm paying you this much money. Explain to me. I don't mind doing it because it's my special day. But explain to me, why is it, you know, <laughs> why do I have to pay more? There's just so much conversation. And it's such a trip. It's a very sticky topic. And, I, you know, it's, something, I, it's a topic I usually don't like getting into. Um, but yeah, I think that's what has changed. People are, people are asking more questions. People want to know, what am I going to get? What is the perk? I expect my wedding make makeup artist to be patient. I expect her to do an amazing job. I expect her to understand that I might be a bridezilla, but it's not personal. It's just, you know, the pressures of getting married. Um, I expect her to be professional, and I expect her to be delicate. Well, I expect her to be outstanding in what she's doing, right? She has to be very good. So yes, that's what I'm going for. Flawless makeup. Yes. Um, or that I expect her to be there the whole time. If I need her to like touch up, you know, fix things, change things. Um, to be patient, of course, because I might change my mind. I might want something different from what we already agreed. And um, yeah, she should be happy for me also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For couples, when you're picking your wedding makeup artist, you need to ask yourself, what do I like? Um, 
usually because I've noticed that, you know, I've worked with some brides that they probably, you know, do heavy glam and they come to me like, I just said, add a little bit more. I probably wasn't their <laughs> choice makeup artist. So make sure you pick someone that you are comfortable with, some, someone that matches your vibe, someone that matches your style of makeup. And also pick somebody that, you know, when you open your album, you are very pleased with it. I've said this before. I want you to be pleased with your, your, your makeup, your wedding makeup 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the line. For me, that is most important. You know, I was talking to a client the other day and, you know, the conversation about using contact lens on your wedding day, you know, came up. And, you know, we're good. We're I think we're on, we were on the same page and there was something she said. She said, I can't imagine, like, opening my photo album, like, 15 years time and I'm looking at green, green contact lens on my wedding day. <laughs> I'm like, yes! Like, <laughs> I don't think people think about these things. People want the now. So it's very, very important to look at the makeup artist you're picking make sure your makeup is not forcing you to use contact lens that's, you know, that you, you usually wouldn't use or use the um, eyeliner that you usually you wouldn't use or uh, I, you can't be forceful, you know, you can't pick artists that are forceful and if you're not sure, please do a trial. Some people offer free trials, some people offer, like for me, I do pay trials but I deduct it from your total because the truth is some people, you know, not everybody's honest. <laughs> Some people come for trial, but you know, for something else. So I would charge you, and then when you do book me, I would deduct it from your total. So yeah, so you can do trials so that you're very comfortable. So you know, on the day we're not we're not having an argument that this is not what I spoke about. Uh, you know. So there you have it: ten thousand, two hundred thousand, or five million. It's your wedding. You decide what's ideal and what's not. So if you want to be glamorous or simple. Whatever look you want to go for, be sure to check what's in the bank and don't compromise on quality. Till next time, this is Wedding on a Budget.